All right, basically, I'm going to make this quick and give you a little preview of the new ROM for the G1 that came out. Um, Drizzy and Hikiro are working on this ROM right now. They released it today. And uh, it's called the Motorola Blur, but it is, like I said, ported to the G1. So let's start out by looking at the lock screen. Looks a little different. All right, it looks pretty cool. It's transparent and it goes away real fast. But uh, <laughs> there you go. All right, it shows your background, whatever you got there going. And this is the home screen, the way I have it set up. Like, it's basically an upgrade. It's not an HTC upgrade like the uh, Hero was. It is basically what it looks like, at least. It looks like an update to the US's G1, the regular Android OS that it came with. But it's pretty tweaked up. So, um,. Here we have what makes it a little different than the regular Android one is the widgets. And some of them are, hold on, there you go. And lock screen again. All right. So we got the widgets here. And I like this little app we got here called Happening. Click on that. And it shows you every update that, like for this you can sign into all the social networks. It has MySpace, it has Facebook, it has Twitter. It's got Picasa and everything you could possibly think of. It's, it's ridiculous. So uh, you sign into that and right here it has every update for every one of those put into one page. You can just scroll and just read through it. It's real quick. And like I said, for this to be a beta ROM, it's pretty fast. Look at that. Look at that swiping. And this is just the first day of release, so I can imagine what it's going to look like after they get it all straightened out. But I'm liking it so far. And like I said, they have a... Uh, you got the widget you put on the screen here. This is this is the happenings widget. You can see one of them here. You click it and it'll go to the updates and you do the swipe of the screen, move over and see what the updates are. And you go Drake's update right here. All right, keep track of that because like I said, he's releasing this ROM. And it's supposed to have an update tomorrow, he says. And it's supposed to be even faster than this one and have Wi-Fi. This one currently has no Wi-Fi. Obviously it doesn't have Bluetooth yet, but this one can have Bluetooth, I hear, because like I said, it's not the Hero ROM. Okay. So I got this right here, an RSS feed for the news. You can see it right here, it's pretty cool. Even for the updates, they have pictures. And uh it comes up and it shows the news. And I have it set up for entertainment. Hold on. Yeah, I have it set up for entertainment right here. You can set it up for sports. You can set it up for RSS feeds for your sites. And I like it because I think it's pretty cool. It brings up a picture with it. But um, click on that. And you can do the same swipes. You see what else is up there. And I think it's pretty cool. Keep track of the news. What you're interested in. And it's right up there on the home page. And if you leave it alone, it moves towards the other news reports. So it's, it pretty much is a ticker. All right, and currently, I don't think maps, I don't have maps set up, but I don't have the location thing set up, but I think it, I haven't heard anything about problems with that working right now. Camera isn't working in this build. This is a beta, and obviously that's going to get fixed up. There you go, it looks a little different than the other ones. I'm can't wait to see what that's looking like, but right now I can't read the SD card, so I think that's the problem. SD card, as you can see, you pull down up here, come on, pull down. Yeah, as you can see, it says my card is damaged, it's not damaged, it's just not reading it right. But uh, I'm not blaming anything on anything, it's just beta. So, whatever happens, happens, because I am a tester right now. You got weather right here, you can set up your location kind of like in a hero, it adds as locations when you click it let me just show you real quick because that's not in a regular build either and there you go wow that's pretty cool it's not hero but it looks good for default widget all right check out the browser browser i don't see much different in but i didn't really look at it much i just put this on my phone and there you go. 3G isn't bad. Edge, whatever. At least there's data on. It's early. It didn't have data at all. So I'm just grateful that Drizzy releases this stuff. And I will always run it. Right here we have messages. 
and um, right now I have no unseen messages. You click it and you can see the other messages. Oh, actually, the messaging in this is different than the other Androids. Um, Right there, you can select the you can select the universal inbox. It'll show you everything here. All right, you got text messaging, you got your Facebook inbox. Finally, <laughs> this isn't even in the regular app port. All right, so you don't even need that regular app anymore. And you got the MySpace inbox, Twitter inbox, and Yahoo inbox. I set it up for that. Yahoo inbox is nice because I can never get Yahoo to work on these, only Gmail. But now it works on Yahoo and Gmail, which I'm very happy to announce on here. All right, here we have the launcher. You have the phone over here, and you have people. Let's take a look at the phone real quick. I really can't see over the camera. I'm having a little hard time. All right, all right, there you go. And I think it has the, if you were ever theming the CM builds, the Cyanogen builds, you've seen this. A little bit. It looks kind of like the iPhone when they had for the themes. And I don't see much different about this. Alright, when you hit menu, I don't think... It doesn't have the animation of the pop-up. Well, I can't hit menu here, so I'll show you another thing. Alright, here's people. It's not the same as the Hero Build where it has the people behind the... Uh, thing, but it shows pictures. I just saw... I didn't even show everybody, but uh, yeah. What the people does is it shows pictures from your Facebook, it shows pictures from your MySpace, it shows all your contacts from every one of your social networks. You can set it up to only show Google, you can set it up to only show Facebook, only show MySpace. You couldn't do that before, but you can in this. All right, let's look at the launcher and see how it rolls. It rolls pretty fast. Look at that. Swipe up, swipe down, goes through the apps real quick. Faster than a regular, faster than a regular Android build, I believe. Um, I put a few things in here like advanced task manager. You should definitely get that. And I got SMS pop up. This is also great. Um, but in here, the new things in here are you got audio postcard. Let's take a look at that real quick. Uh, and there you go. All right, you got postcard here. It's like the picture. the The camera's not working right now, so you're not gonna see what it's looking at, but. Uh, as I can imagine, that'll be the picture that you're looking at here, and it's, it gives you basically a frame around it, and it's pretty cool. It's a milk thing. You could basically take the picture and send it off, and it says audio, so I guess you could record audio in there too. But it's it's pretty cool. I like it. All right, I won't be getting rid of that. Let's see what else we got. We got the news feed here, mobile backup, T-Mobile. We have quick offices in here, video gallery, never had that button before. Uh, we have a voicemails app here, I don't know what that is. Someone needs to leave me some so I can check it out. A visual voice box, that would be cool. I, I don't like this clock. I downloaded the, uh, the other one with the flip clock. So I'll see if I use that, I've been using Hero for a while, I just want to see it changed up a little bit. All right, and over here we got the Google search bar, and we have a Twitter app. Well, this is a message. This is a social status app, so you could you could quickly put in your status of what you're doing. Is it MySpace, the Facebook one, and the uh, Twitter? And the difference is, look at that up here. When you swipe, it shows you a little little indication of the page you're on. It says five, not seven. Let's take a look at settings before I call this a night. And compass. The compass thing has a weird thing it tells you to do. It collaborates. It tells you to put this in a. I'll let you read it. It says rotate the phone in a figure eight motion. I don't know what that means, and I don't think anyone does. I don't think it works yet. So, until someone explains that, I will not be collaborating my compass. This isn't apps to SD yet because it doesn't read the card. Tomorrow. Jizzy said he'll have an update to fix that. And like I said, we cannot wait to bring it on. Bring it on, Jizzy Drake. 